it's me Courtney and welcome to my channel in today's video I'm going to be showing you three very very different looks using the new Jaclyn Hill and Morphe volume 2 palette this is what the palette looks like in all of its beautiful colors um, I actually never did pick up the volume 1 palette only because none of the colors really called to me but this type of situation especially the reds and the oranges are right up my alley that being said if you guys don't support Jaclyn Hill or Morphe for that matter but you still want to sort of follow along to the looks that I create I would suggest you know just find anything any colors you may have in your collection that are similar I know ColourPop does a lot of like monochromatic palettes that'll have all your reds all your oranges and all your yellows that sort of thing if you guys are curious about any of the other products that I am wearing on my face I always try to leave that in the description box below and with that being said we're gonna go ahead and get into the looks to start off I'm priming with concealer I want the base to be a little tacky so I won't be setting this with powder. Then I'm gonna take heart on and begin to create the shape that I want, starting below my mid brow, slightly above my crease, moving the product toward my outer eye corner, following like that arc in my eye shape. I'm stopping right before the beginning of my brow. Next, I'm using that same color to connect my lash line to the top, giving my eyes a sort of like wing effect. And honestly, you can play with it until you get the exact shape that you're looking for. Then I'm using Living My Best and adding it a little further into my crease and on the outer lid. I'm going to take my Peach Perfect Setting Powder and swipe that right under my brow to set the rest of the concealer so that the edge of the red will blend a little smoother. Taking the color next, I'm going to deepen the outer lid corner. Then using my concealer, I'm going to create a soft cut crease. I don't want it to be too sharp. I want the colors to sort of blend into one another on their own. The concealer is more so to create a base for the yellow. And as you can see, I'm sort of buffing that concealer out a little softly as I go. Next, I'm using No Joke and packing it on top of the concealer. And blending the edges of that yellow as well using that deep red next to buff out the outer lid. I'm going to take my NYX Epic Wear Liner in yellow and create my wing. I actually thought this liner would work a little better than the Fenty Liquid Liner did, but not so much. Um, I still got flaking and cracking, so bear that in mind. I'm going back in with heart on and buffing it out on my lower lash line. Again, using the color next, I'm going to deepen the bottom outer corner as well. I actually ended up connecting it at the wing, which I wish I didn't do. So just keep it on the lower lash line if you can. It just makes it look a little neater. Next, I'm taking certified and using it to brighten my inner corners and adding a little more yellow on top of that and blending it together. Now I'm taking my ColourPop Gel Liner in Puppy and adding it to my waterline. Add lashes and mascara and that's look one. For the next look, I'm starting with prime and set lids and going in with Tipsy Girl. I'm buffing that seamlessly into my inner corner slash nose bridge area. This look is a little exaggerated, so for more of an everyday look, you could just pop this color in like your inner tear duct area to highlight instead of blowing it out as much. Next, I'm taking Not My Journey with a flat angle brush and creating my wing. It is going to create a little fallout, but a fluffy brush and loose powder can correct that later. I'm 
I'm also gonna run that shade on the outer lower lash line, connecting it to the top, using that sharp edge to keep it close to the lash line. Then I'm using a good place and finishing out the lower lash line. After that, I'm taking Therapy Sash to blend out the lower lash line. I'm then gonna take Piggy Bank by ColourPop for my waterline. Now, going into I'm In It, I'm going to highlight my inner corner tear duct area, as well as my brow bone, add lashes and mascara, and that's look two. For the last look, I'm taking filling myself and blowing that out into and above my crease. I'm gonna take my man just a little deeper into the crease. I'm also running that along my lower lash line. Next, I'm taking this beautiful golden orangey red shade called Flawed and Odd and using my ashy finger <laughs> to top that all over the lid. Then I'm gonna blend the edges of that shade to make it look more seamless. I wanted a little bit more sparkle, so I did go in with my Jelly Mutt Shadow from ColourPop and Strawberry Jam, and I kinda tapped that all over the lid as well. I'm gonna go ahead and tight line with my gel liner from Milk Makeup in BCC, then using the color Talia to highlight my inner corners, add lashes and mascara, and that's the last look. That about does it for me hopefully this video was fun and inspiring if so please give me a thumbs up be sure to like comment and subscribe share the video if the mood suits you you guys stay safe and i will see you guys in the next video bye